It is true, we don't have big numbers, but uh, we are like the salt. This salt brings to the food a uh, new taste. And so this is our role here as Christians, to remain here in order to bring this society, as it was always in the past, for all the centuries, our presence here, to bring dynamic of vitality, encounter, dialogue, courage for the future, in order to build our society strong as it was in the past. The Christian presence in the Holy Land is characterized by the depth of its roots. The church has been at the service of the human being throughout the centuries regardless of religion or belief. In Gaza, Sister Delfina, head of the community of the Sisters of Charity, who assists about 70 disabled Muslims in their homes, tells us, I live for them every day and the greater the effort we make for them, the greater the joy. I feel what every mother feels for her children. I used to say that all the Gaza Strip are knowing also the Christians through the, the missionaries of charity. They are here since uh, 30 years ago. And Mother Teresa also, uh, she personally, she came to open this uh, house. So it is a, a big grace for us, a great grace for us. They are working especially with the social help and especially with the poorest of the poor. The poor are wonderful, the poor are exceptional, the poor are generous. They give us more than we give them, Mother Teresa said. In the same way, the Sisters of Charity look for the poorest of the poor to serve them. The congregation is present in places where the war prevails and with courage it spreads peace, coexistence and love for others. This form of charity and benevolence is also found in the Greek Orthodox Church of San Porfirio in the heart of the old city of Gaza. During the last war in 2014, the church welcomed and supported 650 Muslims who fled their homes due to the bombing of the city for more than 50 days. Many people from this region, especially from the regions of Shuyaya, Rafa, Zaitun, Bet Hanun and Khan Yunis have come to the door of this monastery in search of asylum. We opened the doors for them. We accepted them and they stayed with us for more than 50 days. More than 650 people, mostly children and women, slept inside this monastery. One of them was born here inside the church during the clashes. A woman gave birth to a child right here inside the church. The Church of St. Porphyry for the Greek Orthodox is one of the first and oldest churches in Gaza. It was built in the 4th century AD. The wall and five meters separated from the Kateb Wilayat Mosque in the Zaytun district. The mosque is separated from the church by a wall and the church bell embraces the minaret of the mosque. This is an important indication of tolerance between Muslims and Christians throughout the centuries in Palestine in general, and Gaza in particular. There is a fraternal and distinctive relationship between the citizens of our land. The only difference is represented by the Christian or Islamic rites. At all times and in all places, the church was and remains a shelter for the homeless.